How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. Today, we're going to be looking at the NJSJ ME 6P USB gaming microphone. Now, this can be used for gaming, recording, streaming, podcasting, or YouTube. It is going to be coming in black. This is the version that I have. And on the side, it says USB gaming microphone. Let's go ahead and see right here. It has a clamp shell open, so let's go ahead and pop that open. And slide this out. And flip the box over. Right away, we're greeted with an instruction manual, which I never normally look over. I know a lot of people sometimes like to look at the instruction manuals, but I'm not really one of those people. But we'll give it a little bit of a look. Kind of goes over some of the functionalities and different colors and stuff since it, since it is an RGB microphone. But it does seem to have a very nice detailed list of the things that it can do. It can do. And if we rotate this up, we can get a bit of a look of the inside of the box. Right here, it looks like we have the microphone itself. There's a cable, let's kind of pull that out. Looks like a USB-C, which is nice not to see the micro USBs anymore. Right here, looks like a mesh windshield. Push that to the side. And right here is the main microphone. Let's go ahead and pull that out. All right, now let's pull the plastic off of this. And this is the NJSJ gaming microphone. It looks as though it is already preset into a shock mount right here which is really nice. You can see these little bands around here help absorb the shock, so when it shakes, it helps stabilize it so you don't get those loud noises. Right here we have an adjustable knob. If you undo it, you can move up and down. You can tighten, well actually, it looks like it might be adjustable in a different way. No, it's just that way. That's fine though. Tighten that up. And then right here has a nice kind of metallic mesh. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that a little bit. You can see right there, it has kind of a metallic mesh finish. You have a live feedback microphone hole right there, as you can see. And then we have right down here at the bottom, I can show you right here, it spins like this left and right. You can see an indicator at the bottom. Let's go ahead and focus in real quick. And that will turn the microphone, I believe, up and down or the audio monitoring up and down most likely. We have a little sun right here, which I'm assuming helps deal with the um, lighting on here, but we will put that in to a power outlet so we can see in a minute. And right here, is the actual headphone adjustment it looks like. So the front is probably for something different and the back is for the actual microphone listening back. This is probably the actual gain of the microphone at the bottom, which is cool because it feels really nice and smooth when you move it through your fingers. All right, let's go ahead and plug this in. It does have a sticker here at the bottom that I'm gonna just peel off. It says activate warranty, so it's cool that this has a warranty, but I'm just gonna peel the sticker off because it makes it look a lot nicer when there's not a sticker on it. So you can get a, now you can get a nice big look at the microphone. I really like that it has the shock absorption. And let's go ahead and plug it in and see the RGB lights. So let's go ahead and undo the cable. It looks as though it actually comes with a USB to USB-C. So you can use this most likely on an Android or a tablet, which is really nice. Has a nice Velcro strap right here. 
And if you can see in the back, the cord is a very decent length. I'm not sure the exact length, but this is at least over six feet to six feet of length. So I'm gonna turn this around and you can see it's as simple as a plug and play. You just plug it right into the back of the microphone, just like that, satisfying click. And there we go. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see how it works. All right, so we have the RGB working now. So the button on the front of it is actually touch. So you just put your thumb right here and it will change the color of the microphone, which is really nice. We got a nice blue, green. We got a nice pinkish purple. We have a kind of a greenish yellow, nice sky blue, a white. And this one looks kind of like a cycle of colors, possibly. Yeah, it's cycling through different colors right now. So a nice, gentle RGB kind of change, which is really nice looking. Oh, I like that. Very nice. All right, and we can't forget that it also came with this mesh right here. And this is a mesh windscreen to kind of make sure you don't get those pa pa and those S noises. So this looks like it just clips on to the actual base. I'll just push it on there. Pretty easy. And then you can even slide and adjust it as well, it looks like. Yep. Bring it up. All right, there we go. And now you can see that the windscreen is on there. It's very nice, very sleek. I really like the design of this. But yeah, that looks really nice, and I really like the design of this. Also, one more thing, that button at the top, that is the mute button. So you just tap on that, and that will mute the microphone. All right, let's go ahead and get an audio test out of this. We're going to go ahead and check the gain, and we're going to see how it just naturally sounds. So go ahead and take a listen. All right, guys, so this is an audio test of the microphone. And now I'm going to go ahead and turn up the gain on it continuously as I'm talking. So this is the gain function right now. The gain is now completely up and this is how I sound on the USB microphone. I think it sounds pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and tap the mute button while I'm still continuing. If you didn't hear me talking just now, it obviously worked, which it did. I can see it on the waveform. And yeah, I think the microphone sounds really good. What do you think? Leave a comment and let me know. All right, guys, this was the NJSJ microphone, and I really like the design, guys. I really love how smooth the gain button is at the bottom, the little wheel, and just how sleek it is. I think it looks really nice, and I'm really appreciative to have this microphone. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, so if you really enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and tap that subscribe button, because it helps a lot. All right, guys, as always, I'll see you in the next video.